playing to any cameras. They are the so-called Jews because we are the true Jews, the true Hebrews, the true and real Israelites whose birthright have been, has been stolen by them. We are the true ones that fulfill Bible prophecy and scripture. Isn't it a fact that you know by throwing out those terms you're guaranteed press coverage? I'm not throwing out terms. I'm fighting age-old enemies and I'm planting seeds in the minds and hearts of the youth and the masses of my people that we will not make the same mistakes again. As as they say in the so-called Jewish community, never again, never again. If you do the research, uh, the true nation, the true nationality of the so-called black people is uh, Israelite or Hebrew Israelite. And they're a nation of people who descended from uh, Jacob, who was later named Israel, who had 12 sons, who became the 12 tribes, who multiplied into the uncountable number of Israelites that are, that are as the sea, sands of the seas today. Can't count them, there's so many. Um, yes, they are Hebrew Israelites. And uh, that's not a religion, that's not a cult, it's, it's, it's strictly a nationality bloodline of people. And uh, it's, it's that simple. They're a bloodline, and you cannot convert into being an Israelite. You can't, you know, change to be an Israelite. You know, you are what your father was. What your uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. First of all, they never went into Egypt. And even though the original Egypt dwells in Africa, the uh, modern-day Egypt today is America and Babylon. When did they go on ships to Babylon in captivity? That never happened. It says, uh, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bound man and bound woman, and no man shall buy you. The Ashkenazis, there's no history when they ever went into slavery, into captivity, where they were sold in, as bound men and bound women, and they remain there to this day. So that's proof they do not fit the descriptions of the Israelites, which the Bible talks about in this precept right here they are they are imposters they are fake jews they are descendants of europe europeans okay that's who they are jewish agency is an american organization which has the exclusive the, the exclusive right to decide who is jewish and who is not on this planet and who to be taken to israel and who is not <laughs> that's hilarious because that's a cut against these jewish people too how do you get to choose who becomes jewish and and not right then the most i say i have chosen you you have not chosen me y'all don't get to decide who to, look we are the original jews okay and we didn't choose that the most high he chose us okay and with that being said being a jew is a bloodline you can't just decide to become a jew like it's a bloodline it's not a religion it's not something that you can convert into it is a genealogy like i literally cannot convert into a chinese woman can I choose to right now in five minutes convert to be a Chinese? No, I can't. Why? Because it's a bloodline. I'm not Chinese, so I cannot become Chinese. And it's the same when we talk about the Jews, which are the children of Israel, the Israelites. You can't just decide to convert because you want to. It doesn't work that way. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. America gonna be, do everything, gonna invest as much money as it has, and gonna fight as much wars as they, as they can, gonna invite as much weapons as they can, just to hide this away from you. Gonna take Israel, gonna bring white people here, and to tell you these are the Jews, gonna, do, gonna kill you, gonna kill Arabs, gonna mistreat white people like this guy, just to tell you this lie. That, that you are nobody and we are the Jews with all the history and so on. It has been deleted your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. This is why America has been taking your history away. Never to find out that it's all about you. I'm telling you this, please. I don't, know, I don't ask you to come to Israel and to start a revolution. I'm just try, asking you to start thinking this way. To believe me a little bit. Because I'm living in Israel and I'm part of this uh, injustice. I really believe that people like me and you, we can, we can bring the justice back.
Yours is a voice of criticism we don't often hear in the United States. Um, often when there is dissent expressed in the United States against policies of the Israeli government, um, uh, people here are called anti-Semitic. Uh, what is your response to that as an Israeli Jew? Well, it's a trick. We always use it. When from Europe somebody is criticizing Israel, then we bring up the Holocaust. When in this country people are criticizing Israel, then they are anti-Semitic. And the organization is strong and has a lot of money. And the, the ties between uh, Israel and the American esta Jewish establishment are very strong. And they are strong in this country. As you know, uh, they have power, which it's okay, they are talented people and they have power, money and uh, media and other things and their attitude is Israel, my country, right or wrong, the identification and they are not ready to hear criticism and it's very easy to blame people who criticize certain acts of the Israeli government as anti-Semitics and to bring up the Holocaust and the suffering of the Jewish people and that's, that justifies everything we do to the Palestinians. How powerful. Yours. I know thou works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That the real Jews are black, all right? The real Jews are black. You see, so the curses remain on the children of Israel. It shall be a sign upon us. We've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. We remain in a land that is not our own. We speak a language that is not ours, that we do not understand. We have been discontinued from our heritage. We have been cut off from our lineage, scattered, don't know who we are. How in the world could that possibly be the real Jews over in Israel today? Because it's not, they are imposters. Identity theft alert. The true Jews remain under the curses. The true Israelites remain under the curses today. The Most High said he would come and gather us in the four corners where he have scattered us. He will come and deliver us. He will send his only begotten son to deliver us. So the true Israelites still remain in captivity today. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American. Joel 2 and 27 and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I'm the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. So we don't have to be ashamed of our condition and where we are. Just understand, these curses describes who you are, according to the scriptures. That's how we know who we are. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass that if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, cursed shall thou be in the field. I ain't never known the Ashkenaz to be picking no cotton. We know who that happened to. The true Israelites. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. The increase of thy kin and thy flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall be when thou comest in and cursed shall thy be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursings, vexations, and rebuke in all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me so the children of israel we are under curses right now 
for forsaking the most high, for laying down his law, statutes and commandments, for worshiping other idols. We went off, but we have to repent of our ways and return back to the most high now. Like right now, this thing is winding down. So you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Return back to the most high, acknowledge your sins, confess your sins, repent of your sins and keep his law, statutes and commandments. Shalom.